Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm just here to do a daily energy um, starting like from now, tomorrow, you know, the next few days, whatever. This is just an energy that I'm picking up on today for somebody. I don't know who. We'll see. See what we get. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and then we're going to use that deck right there. For those of you that watched the live last night, that was fun. It was really fun. Thank you for joining. I decided to take it down because I don't want to leave my public, you know, I don't want my life to be that public. So that's why I, I take it down. So best thing to do when I'm doing a live is watch it at the time because, um, you know, I think it's important to keep my privacy. So, yeah. That's where I'm at. So if you, I'm not asking for subscribers, but if you subscribe, you will see when, and you hit the notification bell, you will be able to, uh, you know, see when I'm live and get on there. Um, but, and by no means subscribe just for that reason. I mean, I, I don't ask for anything from anybody. If you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. And that's the way it is. So what do we got? What do we got? Solitude. Now, it did come out reversed. I flipped it. So somebody may be coming out of solitude, or, or they may be going in. It could go either way. Maybe a time of solitude is needed, or it has been needed. Um, this is a time of reflection. If somebody has been going through a time of reflection, maybe it's time to, you know, step outside of your shell. Maybe it's time to come down off of that mountain. Maybe, you know, you've gone through some sort of awakening and, and time is, it's time, it's time. For some of you, this can mean that that is what you need to do. You need to go within. You need to take a time out, perhaps. All right, so it can go both ways. Now, nines are about closure, so somebody may be, you know, closing a chapter, see the book, closing the book, and to, to close a, a significant chapter in your life, you know, that takes planning, it takes time, it takes diligence, you know, you may need to refocus, and you, you probably need to really go within, you know, to figure out what the next chapter holds, so I feel like a lot of us at this time are are definitely um, closing some old stories. You know, we're we're closing some chapters in our life. So that's a, definitely a very prominent card for the current energy. Um, what else do we got? It's becoming self-aware. Somebody is in the process of becoming self-aware of who they are, where they've been, and where they're going. You know, somebody may be trying to avoid starting over for fear of... Uh, What lies ahead? Fear of a disaster? And, you know, fear. There's fear here. There's fear of, you know, breaking down something that... Breaking down something that is really unstable, but it may feel like it's stable, just to perhaps get into something that is even worse, you know? But that's just a fear. That's just a fear. I feel as though somebody's been trying to avoid with the tower reverse. They've been trying to avoid, you know, taking a step that they need to take, really thinking about it long and hard, thinking, 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 not taking action. Fear is definitely the factor here because the fool needs to replace that fear with faith and just take that risk, take that leap, you know. There's an opportunity for a fresh start here, but you, you're going to have to leave the fears behind you. 
So I feel like somebody is probably delaying because they're thinking. They're, 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 they're really, really thinking. I don't want to make a wrong decision. You know, somebody is really afraid of starting over. I mean, I can't say it any other way. Fear of disaster. That's, this is disaster. Fear of the upheaval that it will cause for them to go their own way. To leave it all behind. What will, what will, you know, come, what will happen if, you know, this is about facing the unknown. Somebody is holding on to a false foundation. Some place that really isn't stable. It's not secure. It's not fulfilling. And it's not, okay? And they have to find that faith to, to just go go for it go for it I feel like somebody knows that they have a good opportunity they have they they have an opportunity for happiness they know it they know it but they're not taking action I feel like um, if you can, because you always got to, you got to remember, I always say this, I know you got to see what's mirroring each other. If you find that ability to face your fears, something good will come out of it. It will. It really, really will. But you got to think positive and you got to follow through with the plans that you make. If you plan ahead, you know, you will be successful and you will head towards happiness. You gotta also have the confidence. So I feel like somebody is headed towards a positive partnership, a positive commitment, you know, of some happiness. Somebody is headed towards happiness after they take that leap of faith, they take that risk, they take they start over. They face their fears about what will happen. Somebody's trying to avoid any conflict, trying to avoid any upheaval, when the fact of the matter is, we've said this multiple times, true suffering brings true growth. Nothing good, nothing great, really comes easy. It doesn't. It doesn't. Anyhow. Um... There could be a new suitor that is better suited for somebody and somebody knows it, you know, or they're in search for somebody better, but they may be in a false contract right now, you know, and they know that, you know, they have to take a risk and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> this is starting over. It, it is. This is, this is actually taking that step. This is a... Uh, at the beginning, you know, yeah, maybe you got to learn some new things and it's, it's not fun. It's not fun to start over. And we talked about this the other day, you know, this is finding that moral backbone to do that right thing, even though it's not glamorous, even though it's not fun. You know, you know that you have a better opportunity. It's a big opportunity. You know that you have an opportunity, but you're going to have to do it. You have to do it. You have to find that focus and that backbone. You do. This is going to be a repeat, I think. Sometimes the energies stay for a little while. Um, yeah, somebody needs to take action with that magician card. That's, that's a card of action. It's a card of willpower. It's a card of discipline. It's a card of using all those inner resources within you to shed the old. And that's what the fool would do as well, you know? I mean... It's fated. It is. It's fated. It's 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 a, it is. This is a fated card. Zero. To, well, this is fated. There's a, there's a, there's there's fate involved here. But you have to remember free will. You've got to take that step. You got to find those resources to start over. Somebody really needs to take action. 
to get their wish fulfillment. And in order for them to get their wish fulfillment, there is a book or a story or a chapter that needs to be closed. There's definitely an opportunity for happiness here, and you can manifest it, okay? You can. But you have to shed the old. You do have to shed the old. You have the power to start over. You have the power to be successful. Oh, goodness. It's like there's a... There's a lost opportunity for love here it's like somebody is throwing away a love opportunity i don't understand why do people do that because they're scared <laughs> i mean somebody may be throwing away a love opportunity because of money. We we talk about this a lot. Money's more important than love. Somebody is shutting down emotionally in the current false foundation they're in, whatever that is. And they have the power to start over. But it's like there's a lack of action. Somebody's not taking action. And maybe they're not taking action because they're of their own insecurities, right? There's insecurities here. There is. Um. Somebody may have their heart set. On another person that is emotionally unavailable and they have another opportunity for love I'm just saying and there so that it's like there's another opportunity a big opportunity that is like being lost it's being lost because somebody doesn't have the confidence to believe in themselves so anyway, there's an opportunity for happiness here. There absolutely is. You know, you got to be realistic. You got to be practical. Discipline. This person has the skills to succeed. Because you know why? This person doesn't quit. So we have somebody here that can succeed at whatever they want. But they, this is a very disciplined individual. Hard, hard, hard worker. And she knows, and she can grow anything and she knows it. He or she, I would say, but this happens to be a she, so I say she. Um... Let's shuffle and get some more cards. There's an opportunity to go in a new direction here, but somebody needs to find that moral backbone, like I said, to, to just start over. And that's a clear message. You know, take action. Stop stalling. There's wishes, wish fulfillment waiting for you. There's abundance waiting for you, but it's, it's being thrown away. Because somebody's not taking action. Oh, worried. We got somebody here that's really worried. Maybe feeling guilty. Worried about what's going to come out. Worried about the truth. Worried about whether they're seeing things clearly. Worried, you know, is, is my intuition lying to me? No. Your intuition is not lying to you. Upright, I would probably say it could be. It's not. 
There's nothing to be worried about. Follow your intuition. You know what you need to do. This is fear. This is anxiety. Fear and anxiety is holding somebody back from following their heart. Fear of what? Rejection? I keep falling out like crazy. Fear that you don't have enough to offer. Fear of pain. I don't want to accept pain. I don't want to deal with any pain. Fear of not getting what you want. That's fear. There's lack of self-worth here. There is. There's hopelessness. Somebody is feeling hopeless. And empty and lost because they're in an unfulfilling situation right here. It's like it's not stable, it's not secure, it's fake. <laughs> it is not built stable, it's not it's not gonna last. And I think that you know somebody knows it's gonna la not gonna last, but Starting over is scary. So somebody doesn't want to deal with the pain to get their blessing. Now, upright, you get a blessing, you get a blessing. But it's like you're not getting the blessing because you're not taking that step. Somebody isn't learning a lesson. It's like they're not accepting the lesson, whatever this was. There's some sort of lesson here, and it has to do with integrity for one has to do with self-worth. It has to do with self-respect. It have to, has to do with nurturing oneself. It does have to do with putting yourself first and not settling for less than you deserve. And somebody is settling for less than they deserve because of fear. <sighs> fear that they, you know, won't get what they want. Somebody is absolutely positively stuck. And wherever you're stuck, there's no victory there. There's no success. You can make it successful. You can be with a fresh start. You can start over. You can manifest. You can change. You can get what you want with discipline and hard work. And faith. But here there's no mental strength to master your emotions. There's there's no faith. And this is faithlessness, hopelessness as well. Somebody is lacking faith more than anything. And it's just keeping them stuck. You have to replace that fear with faith. That is the message of this reading. I mean, that's what it is. Somebody has lost their direction. There's a loss of will. And there's been a lack of discipline. Somebody can't master their emotions to move forward. And it is time to move forward. But somebody is just totally, totally, totally stuck. Oh my God. It is definitely time to move on. To get to that better place, you are going to have to paddle. You got to drive. Or you're going to stay stuck right where you are. So today's message is go. Take that risk. 
you have the resources and you have the skills to start over don't let your fear hold you back I'm going to get an oracle card, but let me just find a deck here. Oh, you know, I haven't I haven't used this Archangel Michael deck in a while. Let's try this one. What do we got for today? Somebody needs to have faith, and they're not. Oh, somebody is stuck probably because of children. Your children are watched over by angels. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. You know, you gotta think about this. And I said it in my live last night. What would you tell your children? Would you want your children to stay in a situation that is unstable, that is insecure, that is that is fake, you know, it's just not going to last? Would you want your child to stay in a relationship that is not real? What would you tell your child? Would you want your child to stay in a situation where... You know, they have anxiety, where they have depression, where they're not feeling loved. Is, would you? Is that the kind of role model you want your, to be? Now, for some, those of you that your children are all grown up, this, this, this still applies. What would you tell your adult children? What would you tell your friend? What would you tell your friend's children? Anybody that is in a situation that lacks love shouldn't be there. It's time to move on. Good luck. <laughs>